necessary to feed his young with lungs of his own breath. It is thus civil of service to our society and the good civil servant. We are quite pleased with your labors on our behalf.
mindful of your prowess on the field and responses to the wishes of these your peers. We are minded to make you knight. Know that to wear the belt and chain of a knight is to hold a sacred trust. That the obligations of knighthood will demand your efforts every moment of your life. A knight of the society must be respectful of all religions, never offending the faith of another. A knight, a knight must respect all those who are weak or defenseless, whether because of age, infirmity, poverty, or vow, and steadfast in defending them. A knight must love his kingdom, his province, and fulfill most, pa most faithfully his feudal duties to his baron and his king. His word must be dependable beyond all doubt or question. He must never flee from the face of his foes. He must be generous to all and always and everywhere champion of the right and the good. The laws of the society and the customs of the kingdom require that a knight be proud as you have shown yourself to be on the field. That a knight be courteous as you have shown as a member of our court. And to show the qualities of courtesy and grace that these noble lords and ladies have attested you. You then desire to accept the burden of knighthood and swear fealty to the crown of the Middle Kingdom. I do here swear fealty and do homage unto the crown of the Middle Kingdom. Whoever be good knight and true, reverent and generous, shield of the weak, obedient to my liege lord, foremost in battle, courteous at all times, to be champion of the right and the good. Thus swear I, Rambo Karas Karunga, be your liege lord, rewarding guilty with love, valor with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. <coughs> Thank you. 
Yaki, Burns, Wolfgang, Morgan, Einard, Osric, Ronis, Stephen, Traynard, and now Rampenberg. This is for you to memorize. <laughs>
that accomplish your majesty. Thank <laughs> you. 
society and responses to the wishes of these your dear all assembled. <laughs> we resolve to create you a master of the orders of the laurel and the pelican. As the
found over this time that Brewston to be a trustworthy and honorable man. I have found that he is able to carry the weights and burdens that would have crushed much lesser men. And I feel that he is worthy of being a member of the Order of Peerage of our kingdom. Our member of our Order of the Chivalry, I, Osmundus Gregory, Knight of the Middle Kingdom, and Child of the Griffin, will speak to Ever since I've known Lord Bruce, he has been foremost in service to the SBA and its members. Courteous to all who are in need and champion of the dream of the SCA. Is there a master or mistress of our beloved order of intelligence who will take this gentleman's service? I Do we ready? 
opening her face. She's a symbol of her grace and courtesy. I have borne this favor to try to lead an army with grace and courtesy. Your Majesty, I would like to return this favor to you. That may care for me. Your Majesty, also before that battle, one of my knights entrusted this chain to my king. He was my general. If it is your will that he conducted this war, courtesy, chivalry, and honor. Your Grace Talamar, Red Sovereign East. The morning not long ago, we broke an arrow, a symbol of war. I would return to you, head of that arrow, that symbol of war. 